So suppose we have to get mean square average of certain pressure signal that has many frequency components. And what I have to do is I have to take average 0 to t and suppose I have a frequency omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, omega 4, omega n. Then instead of, okay, then I can write this is one half instead of just writing P exponential J omega T I can write that this is P hat N exponential minus J omega N T and say N equal one to infinity or if you like capital N. Okay? The expression of this is very important. I'm assuming that the pressure signal, this one, has this component, this component, and so on. And then I am expressing this graph expression by using summing notation. That's it. Okay? That's reasonable, right? Hmm? That's reasonable. Okay. And also, uh, I have to add another signal uh, that can be written as p hat conjugate and using another different index m plus j omega m t and then square it. That really scares all the possible frequency component because Suppose I have this signal and this signal and this signal and I am scaring this signal, what I will get? Scale of this signal and the scale of this, this signal, but as well as I will have this one multiplied by this, this one multiply another component, another component, another component. Therefore I have to write it this way. Yeah? Okay, I will explain again. Hmm? Uh, and yeah, that's why I'm I'm I am I am explaining now. Okay. <laughs> Important question. Thank you very much. Okay. This is the signal. Okay. And this signal can be regarded to have many frequency components. Right? Then I want to scale this. Okay. That means I have to scale all these sums. Okay? What in fact happened is scaling all this sum would be Scale of this, scale of this, each component's scale plus this one multiply this, this one multiply that. And to express that summing, I need to introduce two index. Right? Suppose m equal 1 and n is varying. Then this is 1, this is varying, right? If I scale this, then First the term is a P1 square and the second P1 square and then the other one is a P1 multiply P2, P1 multiply P3, P1 multiply P4, P1 multiply P5. I can go for, uh, forever. P1 multiply P5, P1 multiply P6. 
right? Right? So I am very proud that I derive this by myself. So that is true, right? Then what we will have is 1 over t, and I invite 2 over here too. Then I have 0 to t, and 2 summing notation, and let's secure this. Then what I will have? I have pn hat square exponential minus j2 omega nt plus pm hat square exponential plus 2j omega mt. Is it right? Hmm? Ah, that should be 1 over 4. Yes. Yes. I'd like to give you partial credit. <laughs> Actually, you look. You did, he didn't look at the text, but he found it. So that's 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 nice. Right. And then I have P N hat. Pm hat conjugate exponential minus j omega n minus omega m t. Right? No? Multiply by 2. Okay. He got partial credit too. Okay. Park Jin Young, they got partial credit. I don't know. I didn't say how much, but uh, all right. Okay. I think I made a terrible mistake in the derivation. Can, can anyone find it? You see, PP have to do is this is omega n and this has to be That is correct, right? Aha, uh -huh. that's why you you didn't feel very very good, right? You you didn't feel very good because there's some error. Okay.